Rowan smiles when he's joined in studio by those he loves. And he loves people of the sea. He loves people of the canal. He loves people who know about boats, who have dwelt on boats and who constantly feel that boats are at the heart of their very existence. You're such a person, Lorraine Fox, into the Newry Canal with your lovely narrow boat. And Peter Maxwell, you have uh, swallowed the anchor, you have now come ashore, you have been uh, traversing the globe for 10, 12 years oh. on board Mithril, uh, but you're now back. Yes, indeed, back. back. In the canals, though. In the canals is good. You're most welcome, Lorraine. We've Thank had this you. man on many, many times before. But you're a Kilkeel woman living in London. I am, and yes. And your boat from London came across on one of our big sea truck ferries. It did. Yeah. I, had, I had a hell of a journey. Yes. <laughs> you went with it, did you? I couldn't. They wouldn't let me because oh. of health and safety and insurance and all. You know all that new yeah. stuff where you can't really do things yeah. you want to do. Yeah. But, um, yeah. yeah, we got here. You I got hook or by crook yeah. or by But you're in. And I'm very happy to be here as well. Yeah. How would you describe the boat? The boat is a 37-foot traditional looking narrow boat it's green it's got little roses on it it's nicely painted a lot of people think it's a lot older than what it is yeah but um look. yeah i i call it my new baby i have four children but this is my fifth <laughs> this is my fifth baby so um there's a lot of work with it there's a lot of maintenance but you that's boats it is you know that's why we do <laughs> it children as well yeah absolutely. but i mean this this yeah it's it's a bit of a love affair actually. of course i can understand this because yeah. boats what is it about boats, Peter, that gets into us and holds us and doesn't I, let us go? I, it's, it's hard to say. It's hard to, to put your finger on it. You know, it's something some people don't have it. Some really? people hate boats, I believe. Really? Yes, mm. uh, there's something not quite right with them, I think. No. You know? Is it about, Peter, is it about a sense of, of the journey? Is it about a sense of uh, an element of self-sufficiency that you can actually exist without all of the tapestry and the hang-ons of, of what's called civilization. Well, I think it is, but uh, we've now brought this ashore and we live without the trappings of civilization in the house anyway. Yes. Now, so it's, it's a mindset, but uh, yes, it is, a lot of it is the self-sufficiency bit, certainly on ocean cruising. Yes. But on is. the canals also, you can yeah. take everything with you. Yeah, of course. Mm. Lorraine, when you, you left Kilkeel for London, Many years ago? 1985. 85, yeah. Yeah, I only went for a trip in a truck. <laughs> trip in a truck. <laughs> yeah, and um, ended up, my, yeah. went with my friends. We used to hitch it a lot yeah. over Ireland just to see how far we'd get when we were teenagers. Oh, for goodness sake. Got Out of Kilkeel. Out of Kilkeel, yeah. yeah. Goodness gracious. London held on to you. And at what point did you renew an acquaintanceship in London with a boat? Um, when I moved to Regent's Canal. And you actually I, moved to live on a boat in Regent's Canal. I live on Regent's Canal. I have a house there. Ah, and yes. um, living there and being by the water, it just gives you that sense of freedom and you're relaxed. And pe Most people, I think, are relaxed around water. Yeah. And I could see... Ducks and... Well, yeah, it's like the, in, this, in this particular part of London, which is North London, Islington, it's the only kind of stretch of water they have. Yeah. And it's quite beautiful. Mm. And then I just kept having this idea of wouldn't it be nice to have a nice little boat that came up and served people refreshments and kind of kept it a secret for a long time. And but eight years then ago, just the secret was out. Well, yes. Yeah. And yeah. you got your boat. And it worked. <laughs> and it yeah. worked. Did a yeah. lot of research in it. Yeah. And what got sort of stuff do you serve on the boat? Everything. Talking about the business end of it. Okay, everything. Um, the whole idea stemmed from like struggling but you know I'm a single parent I struggled yeah. for a long time and I became very resourceful but I wanted to introduce people to um, you know a healthier lifestyle you don't have to depend on like the wrong kind of things mm -hmm. that there's just good food it's homemade it's traditional values it's a social thing where people communicate with one another and they're more relaxed around yes. water like in London if you walk up the street no one will say hello to you if they're on the train, but if you're, you're all looking. At yeah, but if you're on the water and you're on a boat, hello, everyone's how hello, you? Yeah, how, how you going? doing? You know, yeah, it's, yeah, it's, yeah, it's, yeah. it's very, very social. And do the children love it? They do, but like they were getting to the stage where they were getting a bit bored because they'd work with me at weekends. Ah, yes, yes. But it depends on which part. I've got so many different parts in, in London, pit stops. Yeah. And if I go to the River Lee, there's like a big play park, there's a mm. sand pit, there's swings. Wow. Victoria mm. Park, you can 
throw a rope over the tree and they can swing on it, you know. My goodness. And they get really dirty, but I think a dirty, a dirty child's a happy child, yeah. really. But isn't it lovely? I've just something that's come to my mind. I told you before here that Kepler, the, 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 the great uh, outreach into space, found another Earth-like planet mm, uh, in mine. another solar system. Yeah. And there, there's a planet in the habitable zone of that star. But do you know what they celebrated? Finding water. Hey, <laughs> so we can take whatever, our wherever we go, Put we have water. On them. Oh, yes. We have water. That's, oh, that's, that's the huge thing. Mm. Peter, it was, this is joy to your heart and soul to see this boat come in because oh, it's, yes, it's your life. Yes. It's, it's, but it's marvellous to see the Albert Basin and the canal getting used for what it should be used for. Exactly. Out, which yeah. is, is a business purposes. Yes. But also it, it, it's enlivening the whole area of the Albert Basin by having this facility there. Now, Lorraine has a meeting with the council next week about licensing and yes. that sort of stuff. Yeah. And we hope that all goes well enough and the council don't, don't put the stops on it because it would be a terrible, terrible thing for that to happen. Yeah. So I we, don't we, think we they them. will. I, I, I think at this think stage... I think they should welcome it, really, Oh, I think they will, yes, yeah. yes. I, you know, 40 years ago, I was through the business of pushing the council up the hill. And it was difficult mm -hmm. uh, because they wanted to fill the canal in when oh, they purchased I'm it. So glad you for and that it would, be, mm. uh, it would be a car parking site. So we founded the Canal Preservation Society and we stopped them. Good. And then people in the Wynn Business Park that opened up the canal a little bit, they used to discharge oil from a garage, this is 40 years ago, into the canal from there. Wow. Mm. So Donnelly and I, God rest him, he's now sailing around heaven. Uh, we used to go in our boat and we'd go up in the darkness of Good the late you. evening <laughs> and we'd stuff everything Blog we it. could <laughs> right the whole way right. in. So soon, soon the swans were no longer getting oiled up mm -hmm. and Good for everything you. was fine. Yeah. So, no, I think the council is a great, modern, intelligent, wise outlook to the canal. And I have no doubt mm -hmm. that your meeting will go hugely well. I hope so. I've got I have yeah. a good feeling about it. I, I, mean, have well, as I don't well. see oh, any yeah. reason why yeah. they wouldn't welcome yeah. something that's so beautiful. How in practical yeah. terms will it work? Do people come onto your boat to sit it's down? A, it's a takeaway service. So you, they come and along and they, they order as a takeaway and away they go. Yeah and it's a very, um, very special service because everything's done when it's asked for. Like yeah, It's of kind course. of best boat. Yeah. It's not there, there isn't anything just sitting there ready and pre-packed. There's no, no microwaves. It's all, <coughs> it's all very it. lovely and Organized, yeah. I put a few like I f in London. I find street furniture that's broken, and I fix it and paint it up. And um, <laughs> and I, the, I have a couple of tables and chairs. They sit out there. Um, I mean, there have been times when in London the weather's been so bad, yeah, heavy with rain, cold and miserable. And I, yeah. I say, look, you can come in. You can sit by the fire and uh, a cup yeah, of tea. Yeah, and when they do yeah, that, they don't yeah. want to go. No, of course not. <laughs> but I can't do that for everyone. But no. Um, no. I'm um, thinking of getting like an awning or something and maybe having use of the pontoon that's not really doing anything yeah, unless it's for yeah, special events. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So but they could be sheltered. But, but dog walkers and cyclists, they, yeah, they, well, they're weathered people, I call they them, are, of because course. they're covered, you know. Like, yeah, they yeah. know what, uh, it's, what to it's so It's so good to have you there. And, uh, the, but you'll not have a boat in London now, that's your problem. Well, I might do. <laughs> ah, you might be, you're going again. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, I don't, and it's like losing a limb, I think, losing a boat, but it's, it's a good reason for me to keep coming back. Of course, of course. On my and Kilkeel is your home, really. It is, yeah. yeah I love Ireland. it. The mountains are more, great childhood, big yeah. family, yeah. all used to homemade cooking. Of course, know. and homemade cooking is coming through, coming through all the time from you with the boat. Mm. This is yeah, great. and I'd like to see more of that in, in Uri as well. Yeah. Like maybe that would encourage more people to start yes. cooking more instead of yeah. buying it all from the supermarket. Yeah. yeah. Peter, how are things with the branch at the moment of the Inland Waterways Association of Ireland? Oh, well, we're working away at bits and pieces, as you always know, as we do. But it's great to see that the, I see the council have finally got round to tidying up around the Albert Basin a bit. Excellent. Cutting down Excellent. a few trees and yeah. shrubs and that sort of thing. Uh, it's, it's great to see that sort of thing going on. I, we I, want them to start at the other end as well, uh, up by uh, the wind. Up, uh, yeah, by yeah, wind and work yeah, back. Where we've been working on the locks there now for a year. You had a bit of success because you were concerned that there was an event of water-based activity which would have brought jet skis and the like onto the oh, water. Oh, yes. They've yes. given, the, the council has said, I gather, that the speed limit of four miles per hour will be enforced. Yes, yes, that's the, I have that done the taking from the council that no vessel will go faster than, no powered vessel will go yeah. faster than four miles an hour. 
Yeah. And that's great to see that, you know. We should, tell the people, the we should tell the people just why. It's not a quirk of no, no, your no, personality no, no, no. or no, mine. No. Mm. There's a reason for that. Well, it, the, it was, it's in the access procedures for the canal. There's a four mile an hour speed limit. This was passed by the whole council, the elected members. Yeah. So it's a, basically a bylaw. Uh, and it's there for a purpose that as a boat goes faster, it makes bigger waves. Yes. And those waves erode the bank and can damage the bank. And it's, it's amazing. You, you, you just can't imagine the damage you can do with that. Yeah. And it's a scheduled ancient monument is the first thing that you're damaging. And the other thing is that any damage to that has to be stood by the ratepayers of Newry. It's all very well saying the council will pay for it, but the council, it's not their money. It's the ratepayers' money is what yeah. they're spending on this stuff. So it's very, very important that the speed limits are adhered to. Yeah. I'm mm. proud of you. Well done. Well, we just we noticed it, Rowan. It wasn't proud, nothing to be proud of. We just ah, brought, well, it, you, brought you, it to the attention of the council. I'm, when I say proud, I'm proud of everything you're doing on the canal. <laughs> oh, right, thank you. you brought thank it you. to life, and that's all. That's all. Well, we're good. doing our best. Lorraine, you'll visit us again, will you? I definitely will, Rowan. Yeah, it's been See lovely. A pleasure. Bless you. you take care. Me too. Thank don't you very much. Care. Peter, <gasps> okay, we're Rowan. going to play you some music now. I'm not I sure don't. what it is, but we'll have something pleasant. Down by the river. It would be nice if we had that. Yeah, down by the river is quite good. Down by the river side. I don't oh, think no. it is. I better not sing. <laughs> <laughs>